Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is your friend, Love Bank Somali, and you're welcome to my channel today. I just want to share the world of a lot this morning with you because uh, I've been having people that have been consulting, coming for counseling, and most of them, they have this uh, issues of uh, stubborn problems, situations that seems not to be coming to an end in their life. Okay? But I'm telling you this morning that God is going to help you. God is going to give you solutions in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, once you're still on the face of this earth, challenges will come. And challenges are sent to sometimes God's strongest army on the field because He knew that you were going to deal with them. Okay, The Lord is going to bless you. The Lord is going to strengthen you. The Lord is going to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. I will preach on this topic called the Jericho Fast. Okay? A Jericho fast. Let's read from the book of uh, Joshua, chapter 6, verse 20. It says, So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. The children of Israel went round the wall of Jericho seven days. The wall of Jericho now, it signifies the situation that you were in, that you were sick in the face of the Lord. The childlessness, barrenness, poverty, witchcraft, oppression, hunger, joblessness, you're trying to get married, sickness, all forms of afflictions, those are the walls of Jericho. And for it to go down flat, remember what Jesus Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. He says, this sign goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. That's what our Lord Jesus Christ said because he casted out demons. He casted out evil spirit. But the disciple tried to do the same thing. It wasn't working. So he had to tell them, oh, I fasted. Remember, Jesus Christ fasted 40 days and 40 nights before he started his ministry. So it is necessary for you to fast. Fasting is compulsory. I am teaching you the Jericho fast today, and the Lord is going to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people, they ask, what is fasting? Okay, they simply ask, what is fasting? And I want to oh, teach this the simplest form that I can. Okay, number one, fasting. The meaning of fasting means what? Not to eat. You stay away from food because you're trying to seek the face of the Lord. You stay away from food because you're trying to increase the power of the Lord upon your life. You're trying to strengthen your spirit. Not eating literally means to fast. Okay, So if you refuse to eat a whole day, like most people in Africa do, they do not eat a whole day because they do not even have the food to eat. Okay, but if you have the food to eat, you decide to pray to fast. If you do not pray, it means your fasting is just a hunger strike. It means you're trying to watch weight. That's what it means. So if you really want to fast and pray, you really need to stay away from food, then you need to pray. Most people fast, they do not pray. Okay, I just want a model of which Christianity is going to be like the prayer models of Islam of which they have time for prayer. So it will be necessary for the lazy Christians to pray. Okay, so fasting means literally not to eat. It also means to abstain from certain food for a period of time. When a woman gets pregnant, they'll say, Madam, you don't need to take alcohol anymore. You don't need to take this food anymore. You don't need to do this job anymore. You need to rest. You need to do this. Some people also fast from eating pepperish food, they fast from eating meat, they fast from eating fish, but I am recommending you go without eating food, edible food, okay? The type of fast I've engaged in more in my life is I stay away from food, and as I'm led by the Spirit sometimes, I drink water, I go to work, so during those period I take water, okay? And the Lord hears my prayer. So it depends on what the Holy Spirit has laid in your heart. And I want you to notice the fasting that worked for Mr. A must not work for Mr. B. What works for you might not work for another person. I know a powerful man of God who shared a story that he fasts from uh, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. Did you hear me? 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. 
That's how this person fast, and the Lord is using him greatly. So you find what works for you. Okay, fasting is also called self denial. You deny your flesh. You're trying to suppress your flesh, and prayer means you depending on God. Total dependence of God. That's the reason you need to pray while you're fasting. And they say that it's, it subdues the natural desire of the body. If you can stay away from masturbation, you can stay away from pornography, you can stay away from uh, adultery and fornication, you need to go on 30 days prayer and fasting, okay? Daily. No water, no food. That spirit needs to be weakened, okay? Let's tell ourselves the truth. It needs to be what? To be weakened. You need to help your soul that has gone into your soul. That comes more like a, a pattern in your family. If it's something your father is doing, your brothers are doing, your family members are doing, then you need to fast for your spirit to stay at you, okay? Fasting also, uh, basically fasting is carried out when the Holy Spirit or the Lord in heaven gives you the go ahead to do it. You have the feeling, you have the, the leading in your soul. Okay? You have that leading in your soul because you're praying for something and your spirit is whispering even though most of you do not know it's the Holy Spirit. You say something tell you. That's the Holy Spirit telling you to fast. Your spirit needs to lead you. That's why it's good also even if your spirit doesn't lead you to church you attend, you always have this program that you decide to oh so 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 they pray and fasting. Yes. Partake in it. It exercises your spirit, okay? It exercises your spirit. Fasting should be a routine for Christian, part of the daily, uh, how do I call it? Your, your, your heavenly race, you're running. You need to be part of it. You need to fast every day. And the reasons why people fast number one, I have a deep sorrow because of an incident or a person. Discover an incident. The Lord show you in a dream, a revelation. You see bad things happening. You lose your job, your child, your marriage, everything. You need a fast. You see the hand of the enemy coming at you using the face of someone. You need to fast. Okay? You need to fast. When you see that your spirit is telling you, Lord is telling you, your spirit, pray fast. Avert this. Dreams necessarily doesn't mean it has happened before. It means it about to happen. You need to fight it. Okay? You need to fight it. And number two, concerns over our problems. Okay, when we have problems that we're trying to solve, we're trying to solve this problem. It seems not to be ended. For example, existing pattern. We all know this household wickedness in Africa. We all know this patterns in Africa. We're trying to rise, they keep pulling you down. I made it full time to wake up 12 at night to pray. List an hour. Because of the kind of family I am from, I do not know of the family you're from. I discover when people are trying to get some things, they get it uh, easily, but mine, I always struggle to get it. So I make fasting part of my life. It became part of my routine, okay? So if you have problems, certain problems wouldn't go except you do what you pray and fast. And those of you also totally who want to communicate with God, you, wanna, you don't want to have a monologue, uh, a monologue kind of communication with God. You want God to talk to you and you talking to God. While fasting and praying, I also advise you to have writing materials because the Lord will always speak, okay? Most of you do not do that. Write down what the Lord is about to speak to you. Like when I desire the anointing, I desire the oil, I desire more of what God is showing me, the sneak peek of the prophetic, of the uh, 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 the healing ministry, I wanted more. So I decided, I decided I need to fast, I need to press more on God. I stay away from food, I stay away from television, I stay away from what is going to hurt my soul because I want my body, my spirit, my soul to be attuned to the Holy Spirit. So if you want to communicate more with God, you could as well do that. Stay away from food, stay away from all the things that could that could affect you. And also for health benefit, a doctor once told me that it's good to fast once in a while. Okay? You fast from certain food once in a while. Even though some doctors who say without eating breakfast, you're holding yourself. But this doctor told me it's good to fast. Because you're renewing your body, okay? I'm giving you the result of fasting, few results of fasting. Like we say in the book of Psalm 35, verse 10, says, I humble my soul with fasting. I told someone when you discover pride is about to take over you, what do you do? You pray, you fast, okay? And when you do that, what happens? It increases your faith. 
When you humble the Holy Spirit will want to walk with you, God will want to speak to you more, okay? It brings about repentance, God leaves. So, Joel chapter 2, verse 12, it brings about true repentance. Oh, Lord, forgive me. I have sinned against you in this way. My forefathers have sinned against you. Oh, Lord, I am fasting. I am praying for you to, uh, to repent totally of this, okay? For you to do what? Repent totally of this. And three, you need to, uh, when you want the hand of the Lord speedily to work in your life, you could see that in the case of Esther and Mordecai and children of Israel. You know how that turned. It all favored them. And D, it's a source of power with God. You want power? When you see people demonstrate real power, know that some of them are products of prayer and fasting. In the prophetic world, told that you do not need any the services. You need more of a prayer. You need more of a worship song. You need more of a, a clean heart. But my brother, fasting and prayer are necessary. Remember, Jesus said in the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 21, he said, This kind word not, word out not, but by what? Prayer and fasting. Okay? So I am urging you today to fast. Okay? And there are some other things I want to share with you. When you fasting, do not make people know you fasting so they praise you. When they praise you, you're not fasting to the Lord. Nobody ought to know. Okay? Do not look unkept, dirty, because you're fasting. Okay? Do not squeeze your face to make people know you're starving. You fasten to the Lord, not to men. So when you do you fasten, what do you do? You look good, you dress neat, you smell nice, let your face let have a smile on your face. Okay? You're doing it to God and not to man. And also you do not fast to the accent that is gonna hurt your body. We'll see one picture or video circulating on the internet when someone fasted, he couldn't walk. This person can't walk. You hot in your body. No. You fast to the extent that you don't need to harm your body. God is not a wicked God. God hates wickedness, okay? Some things we don't do out of ignorance. So my brother, I tell you today, make fasting and prayer part of your daily life and the Lord is going to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll be talking more on this, but I just wanted to give a, sneak, a, a, a little sneak peek on this because of the questions I've been answering and the counseling session I've been having. I'll be coming with more on this topic and the Lord is going to bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you're reciting Abuja, I'm going to be at the Kubo Mountains on Saturday morning by 5 to 5.30 a.m. I'll be there from 5 a.m. from 5, 5.30 a.m. thereabouts. And I'll be living there, I think, at about 12, 1, 2, 3. So if you're in town, please send us a message. You want to join us? Send us a message so we can pray together, okay? Let's pray together. Let's join our faith together and talk to God about the situations you want to change in your life. And the Lord is going to change them for good in the mighty name of Jesus. For those joining for the first time, I am Love Banks O'Malley and I am an outreach minister, okay? So more of me you're going to see on this channel. Just kind of subscribe to this channel, okay? On YouTube, subscribe. On Facebook, please. You can follow me or subscribe to my Facebook channel as well, the notification button, so that as soon as I come live, you'll be able to switch to see it and be part of it. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I'm praying for you today. Your weekend is going to be blessed. This month is going to be blessed for you. I'm praying for you that all your secret prayers, the answers are released in the mighty name of Jesus. I am also praying for you. That thing that is special, so special to you that you pray to God for God to answer you. I decree that help is released upon you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are that sister. You are listening to what I am saying now. I have the leading in my spirit. Read the book of Psalm 35 and Psalm 38 and pray along, okay? Pray along, pray along, pray along, pray along. What you're asking the Lord for is found in the book of Psalm 35 and Psalm 38, okay? Those people who want you dead, those people who want you frustrated, the Lord is going to frustrate them for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Feel free to send messages. You want to talk with us? You want us to pray for you? Feel free to send us a message. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Peace be unto you, inshallah.